Hi everybody, it's another Mythic Monday. So today we're going to be taking a look at the Cosmic Legions, Altar Cyclovis. If Saturday morning cartoons fueled your imagination as a kid, and powers your action figure collecting now as an adult, then you're in the right place. Thanks for stopping by, and welcome to Saturday Morning Toy Collector. And if you like my content, please consider subscribing. So before we get started with the review, I did just want to give a quick shout out to Greg, who I do double jointed with every week um, for uh, gifting me this figure. Um, I really, really appreciate it, buddy. Thank you so much. Um, he was one that I was definitely wanting to get my hands on when I did the rest of the Outpost Zaxius review. Um, I didn't really, I didn't review this guy because I'm not the biggest fan of um, uh, the Spexian um, design. I, I do have this one. A friend of mine gave me the, uh, the, the prison guard. I'm just not the biggest fan of like bugs and bug designs. Um, but anyway, thanks Greg for, uh, for gifting me this. I really appreciate it. And uh, that's gonna wrap up the last figure in the Cosmics um, Outpost Zaxius wave that I need to review. So I'm gonna stop yapping and we're gonna get to reviewing. All right, here's a closer look at the, uh, the package here. You can see just about everything he comes with. I, I know this guy doesn't come with a lot. So I see his staff. We typically can see some stuff here on the side, uh, but I don't see anything there. I, I just don't think this guy comes with a lot. And that's okay because his design is really nice. If you wanna pause this and read his little bio, you certainly can. And uh, here on this side, we have a little write-up about Post Zaxius. And at the moment, we're able to fit all of the cosmic waves that have been released so far uh, on the back of the package um, before we uh, before the, the waves get out of control and uh, we can't fit any more on here. So without further ado, let's get this guy opened up and take a closer look at everything he comes with. Before we move on, I did want to show um, just, you know, here's why we can't see anything else. All the hands are down here at the bottom and this little space is empty. Now this is typically for all of the little um, pegs that we get to plug in their different um, weapons and things all over their belts and arms and whatnot, but it's empty. And at first I thought, oh, I didn't get a pack. And then I realized, well, he doesn't come with anything that needs to be plugged in. He carries his staff and he has hands and that's it. I'm not even sure where these plug in because I haven't seen underneath his robes. So I don't even know if his belt has holes to plug anything in. But the other thing is that I've got so many of these things that I'll never need anymore. So if another one never came with one, I would be okay. But I did want to point that out. All right, just taking a closer look at his accessories. He does come with this really nice long green wooden staff. It does come apart right here at the two little metal um, sections right here. I do like this very much. I think we've seen this before. I'm not sure if this is the exact same one that came with Father Christmas, but it feels like it is. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any of my Mythics or my Cosmics out at the moment since I'm repainting the room, which you guys have seen, uh, and I don't have all my shelves up, so all of my Cosmics and my Legions are put away for the moment, but we do have this nice uh, staff. He does come with a bunch of hands that we're gonna take a look at here. So let's see if I can get them all kind of gathered up properly. Uh, he does come with two gripping hands. I do believe that these are for the staff itself. And these are on horizontal joints. And you can see that they have this light blue, like, um, spray uh, of paint underneath the hands, like the lighter part of the hands, which is super, super nice. Small detail, but I love it. Um, we have some um, larger, like, opening um, gesturing hands. Maybe he's... I don't know, using some telepathy or if he's just gesturing or asking, you know, for some Skittles, you know, whatever. If they are on some uh, horizontal hinges. And then we have uh, two, um, what looks to be maybe trigger finger hands. If you want to give him a, a, a gun, uh, you certainly can. Now, these are on vertical hinges. I guess this guy is not opposed to, to um, you know, going loud when he needs to. Um, but that's pretty nice. And then on him in the package is just two regular gripping hands that seem to be on vertical hinges. That's what's going on there. So let's get this guy up on the turntable and see what he looks like. All right, here's Altar Cyclovis standing straight up and down, straight out of the package with all of his robes on. We're gonna get those robes off of him in just a minute and we're gonna see what's going on underneath. Um, but I can tell you this guy is fairly imposing. I love his design. I love the color choices. I love the head, the paint on the head and the colors of the robes. It all works together pretty flawlessly. And uh, I love the way this guy looks. And I do believe that this brown uh, robe um, that is your secondary, you know, 
soft goods here. I think it's the same one that comes with the Legion's Con 2-pack for the Mythic figures. Uh, the one that is the monk that's based on um, uh, George Gaspar. I believe that's the same robe, if I'm not mistaken. If I, if I am, let me know in the comments down below. But let's get him off the turntable and see what's going on under all these uh, soft goods. So I've gotten the top two layers of the robes off and I did want to show that this bottom robe is underneath the belt and I don't see any holes or anything to plug anything in. He doesn't come with the shoulder pauldrons or anything else. That's just him stripped down to almost the bare essentials. But I did want to show how it fits and goes up underneath the belt uh, as part of the soft goods. And then removing the robes, this is what you are left with under underneath. He does kind of have like that more slender, like 2.0 style elf loincloth going on. And then the metallic um, um, greaves or um, the lower um, shin armor legs as opposed to like nude or unarmored legs. But that's what this guy's got going on underneath the party robes. So let's take a look at him while he is completely like uh, undressed so we can just see what's going on here. I gotta tell you, man, this head is incredible. The The colors are very uh, vibrant uh, on my on my copy. They look really nice. Maybe they don't come across that vibrant on my camera, but man, they just, they're so good and so beautiful. I just love the purplish color of this guy, even though he's uh, called a Greyborn. Uh, I, again, I apologize for not having um, the, the first guy out here um, from wave one. Um, because all of my cosmics are put away for right now. But you have some nice gray and light purple spray on his um, abdomen and chest. You can see the musculature and the skin texture is really nice. He does have um, the ports on the back if you want to give him um, shoulder pauldrons or the back adapters. So you want to give him wings or whatever you want to give him, you certainly can. Um, we have this style belt, which I don't know if we've seen before. If we have, please let me know in the comments down below where this has been used before. I'm sure it's a reuse piece. I just can't call it uh, uh, off the top of my head. We have, again, some more of that light spray on the inner thighs. And then those nice um, robotic or at least metal um greaves down here before uh, on the on the legs the shin armor looks great the boots they look great and of course he is barefooted and then you can see the widespread feet and then some more spray and then more spray on the bottom it's just so well done uh, and then to um put all of his robes back on this little piece just comes off and then we can take his um, lower robes and uh, put them on and i believe we can do it just like that to where they kind of open in the front a little bit and then pop this piece back on and then put his torso back together and then we can take his um, middle middle piece or his secondary um, soft goods just want to put that over his uh, arm and head and have it draped just like that I like these these colors go very well together not only with each other but also with the um, uh, with his skin tone and then we want to put his uh, robe on so let's go ahead and get that on before we his outer robe before we put um, his head back on and I, I think this guy might have looked really good with some shoulder pauldrons I kind of wish I had uh, the the ones I have from the first guy I wish I kind of had them out here um, to look and see what they would look like um, but uh, um, man he just he looks really good uh, again the green the brown the purple the blue it all kind of works together and looks very very natural um, let's see what this hood be doing oh my goodness that hood is so good I love I love hoods on like sci-fi characters it's I don't know it just gives me Jedi vibes it just it just to me it just works I think that looks really, really nice and looks really good. The soft goods on here are great. You could take this, these robes and give them to anybody. This robe in particular, I think would look good on Mythics. Um, this un uh, under robe, I think is also really good. And we know that it's coming um, again here in the future very soon because we're very close to, uh, to uh, Legion's Con and getting this in another pack. But I think he looks really, really good. So let's get him, because he is really tall, let's get him into to some size comparisons with uh, the only two Mythics that I have out on my shelf or out on my desk to play around with um, for doing reviews.
All right, so here he is with our good buddy, Bill Bones Broken Shield, who uh, you may not recognize because he's already dressed up for Halloween and our um, Legion Builder, our Skeleton Legion Builder 2.0 Skeleton um, right there. So you can see about how he scales with a regular 1.0 uh, Legion style figure. So let's get these guys out of the way, get him into some lighting and into some backgrounds. And let's see how this guy poses up. Okay, so if you had heard bad things about the very first Greyborn from Wave, one of cosmics which was you know like he was very he was either wave one or wave two i can't remember but he was very fragile at the waist you needed to heat him up soak him in hot water um the wrist pegs would break they were very fragile all of those concerns have been completely addressed by the four horsemen here um this figure is solid. It doesn't feel flimsy. It doesn't feel like it's going to fall apart. I'm able to pose him. Nothing feels like it's going to break. And the colors, the eyes, like the glossiness on the eyes, just everything about this guy is fantastic. He is a solid release. Would I like to have seen a little bit more in the package? Probably. I would have very much liked to have seen him with some, you know, maybe um, maybe like some some effect pieces or maybe like a shoulder pauldron or two. But, you know, I'm not going to let that stop me from enjoying this figure. I've got that kind of stuff. I can add it to him if I want to. I think out of the package, the soft goods alone are worth the price of admission and the paint job on this guy. He looks great. If you are looking for a nice alien to like kind of maybe even army build, like you could buy a couple of these, change the robes around, dye the robes different colors, take the robes off, give him different looks. I think this this is a solid, solid Greyborn release. And I think, I think to me, he's kind of the sleeper hit of Outpost Axius. So... Uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching. I super appreciate it. Please continue to check us out over on Instagram at Saturday Morning Toy Collector. I am your Saturday Morning Toy Collector. I'm your host, Mark, and I will see you in the toy aisles.